What's good, people? Well, this week's episode, I decided to take a break from the uh, Lynx 6x6. And I wanted to play something a bit low tier and a bit more lucrative, profitable, if you will. This is a T3485M, which is, a, which is basically a T34 with upgraded frontal armor. And that's it. Uh, and if you're saying, Jet, this sounds better than a tier 3485, well, it is. In a top tier matchup, this thing is borderline overpowered. Borderline. But you can clearly see we're not in a top tier matchup, so... Yeah, and I believe this is like my third time playing this thing. I believe so. So, I don't even know what I'm getting, what I'm getting myself into. I just know for a fact that at one point I have 3 million credits, then I bought a Link 6x6, and then I don't have 3 million credits. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, this T92, I'm trying to shoot at him, right? But like I said, this is like my third, if not fourth time playing this thing, so I don't know this thing's shell velocity, but I hit it when I don't see it. So, you know, that's a thing. Now, I'm checking the map, and there's a very high concentration of enemy tanks over there where I'm looking at and I'm like alright you know uh, T-3485's gun is not bad I should be able to do something about an OI maybe if I load gold and go for his turret but in my opinion the whole point of using a premium tank is to not use gold because you know it makes you credits but others will say that the gold offsets the credit balance so or the credit income so you know teach their own now, this T-42, I'm used to it not having armor. But when you only have an 85mm gun, all of a sudden, that thing has armor. All of a sudden. I'm getting shot from my right side. I'm like, alright, I'll take that damage. Then I get set on fire. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, I guess I'm back up now. And this T-34-3 is going to do its thing. And I am going to get off this hill because I have no gun depression and apparently I'm a tall target. And then artillery hits the damn T-34-3. And sub melts hits the T-34-3. And I'm like, okay, I need to get over here. And I need to spot what's going on. But then I get spotted by that. And then, basically a Churchill FV-4005. If that sounds scary, that's because it is. Takes off damn near almost all my health. Damn near. But then... This VK-101 or 100.01P shows up. And I think to myself, bro, if that thing was on an enemy team, what could I do about it? Nothing. I'm glad it's on my side. So I'm going to let him take charge. He has a lot of armor and some speed going downhill. And I need that because I'm going to flank behind this Churchill uh, AVRE. Which is crazy to say out loud. And the Civil 4 3 comes out of nowhere, hits the wall, and destroys him. Now I'm like, alright, cool. At least we got through this flank. Or so I thought. Because you see, once again, I want to push up, but I'm about to die. So I'm like the VK 101P push up. That's why he's here. It's a breakthrough heavy tank. That's what they do. It's SC 100. I miss a shot on that thing. And he misses a shot on me. But it's cool. Now he's dead. And apparently, I'm spotting that Nassauron up there. Apparently, like, look, look at the spotting damage. And now he's gone too. And I'm like, wait a minute now. How am I spotting all these guys? My commander only has six cents. There's no commander skills on the c 35 m And I'm like, e what? What? How am I getting good results all of a sudden? But look at that. The T-34-3 goes up. And I spot this Churchill. Oh, he spots the Churchill, right? Now, like I said, I'm mixing things at tier 6 not having armor. But this thing has a problem. The Churchill, I mean. If you shoot the tracks at the right angle, you're going to hit its hole, too. So, that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm like, hey, VK, can you shoot? Cool, he did. And I get tracking uh, damage. Love to see it. And all these shots I fired, right? I hit, like, what? One? May maybe two so far and I know the damage ribbon said six but I think that was from ramming damage from the uh, from the Churchill 
So, you know, don't don't think I'm out here causing damage in a T-34 85M. This is like my fourth time playing it. You know what I'm saying? So the VK-100 on 1P, I believe he's going he's to go a separate way. And I'm going to take this lift. And in just a second, I'm going to get the living daylight scared out of me. I'm looking to my right, expecting to find somebody up there. But what's actually going to happen is I spot a UDES 14 Alt 5 right here. And I'm like, wait a minute. He's AFK. All right, fully aim, and somehow I still miss. Okay, well, fast reload. Try again. Again, I miss. Bro, this tank's gun handling is getting on my nerves. But this is where the fruits of my labor come to fruition. Because this guy's AFK. And all I'm going to do is shoot his tracks. You mean to tell me I get to farm a whole tier 8 medium tank in a tier 6 medium tank for free? Oh yeah, I'll take that. And what's even more crazy is that according to the game, I am top on experience. How? I have no idea. Anyways folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.